Hello, I'm Penelope Buntine and I live in Brisbane, Australia. I've been a nurse and midwife for over 30 years, delivering babies and helping women and families grow for most of my career. And just recently, I've decided to take my hobby going from ceramics and printmaking into becoming a real artist. At school I really enjoyed doing art and school was mostly into textiles and painting which I enjoyed and then with my career working at the hospital I only had some casual hobbies. It was only when we had the opportunity to live in Chicago for two years that I actually discovered ceramics. So my husband and I moved to Chicago so that I would actually start to meet people and get involved in the community. I found the Evanston Arts Centre and signed up for a ceramics class and that was my introduction to a love of my life that I still continue to this day. The inspiration for my art comes from a variety of different areas. A lot of it is related to people. I think working with people, being a nurse and a midwife, caring for people. A lot of my original images were pregnant women or babies in utero. It was an area that really I really felt passionate about and this growing new life was something that was quite exciting. I also get um, ideas from just, I go for lots of walks. I enjoy walking wherever I'm living and that walking through the streets, through nature or urban environments, all of those really, I mean, give me ideas to take home, to put down on paper or to use my hands to create something. It's often like the negative spaces too. You learn how to look at um, images and ideas and it's from those negative spaces too that I get shapes and ideas that then lead on to other new pathways. The creative process is quite different. I guess it's really hard for me. I'm not, I'm not able to like, just sit down and create. I have to be in a mood or get some ideas or have some inspiration to actually start a process of making or creating. And I guess you have to be in a happy space to do that as well. I've had a few times in life when everything's going a lot tougher and things, and that's really where I've actually struggled in my creative process. So for me, creating, yeah, I need to be in a happy place. And a happy place comes from friends and family, but also engaging with the environment of where I'm actually living. Professional goals as an artist, well, that's a whole new world for me. It's something I've never done in the past. So what I'm trying to do is get a profile out there into the big wide world. I'm lucky enough to be living currently between um, Copenhagen in Denmark and Brisbane in Australia and have lots of friends and connections around the world. And so people when I'm in Australia want to know what my art's doing. And when I'm in Denmark, people in Australia want to know what my art's doing. So having uh, avenue or a venue for people to go either online to see what I'm doing is a way to keep up to date with friends in studios around the world. What I hope other people get from my art is that they actually enjoy it, that they can see something in it that means something to them. I prefer, I'm not a big person on like artist statements or all of those ideas, I'd rather the viewer comes and looks at the work and from there takes something away that's enjoyable to them. I've done a series of little old men and a lot of those I've actually used giving as gifts when people have actually lost someone significant in their life and had friends and people come to me and say that they talk to their grandfather or their dad on their kitchen windowsill on a daily basis. They really sort of connect to the artwork that's sitting in a part of their home.